Morning into Webbers. Well, it's four o'clock in the morning. We're at Main Freight Auckland over here. This is Main Freight One. Got this really nice guy loading my truck for me. But check this out. I just noticed this. Work it. Oh, what a stunning paint job that is. What does it say? The Midnight Temptress. Scania. Oh, it's got the Euro light kit and it's a 620 and the high rise. What a beautiful truck. What an awesome paint job and look at the state of it. I like these, I like these body kits. Wow. I don't know who has that truck, but man, that's a beauty. See, look at that Hino. Everything about Main Freight is well taken care of. My boss, Acid, he used to work for Main Freight. He's one of the big bosses. So he's training us the same way. That's why we got cool gear. This is the Scania that I saw the other day. Wow, it's a 730. Cool. The Swedish Delight one. <laughs> I'd say this guy definitely has an appreciation for the fairer sex. These little metro missions around town aren't too bad as long as it's like really early in the morning because there's no traffic and my little robot is brilliant at telling me where to go. Pretty much it's the only time I like driving in the city and there's nobody here. <laughs> okay so I just had a Primo drop off. I came around that corner, scooted up into there where they unloaded one side of my trailer backed into here where they got to the other side of my trailer just love it when these metro tasks have uh, really good access anyway we're hooting around that corner trucking on let's roll well i've just done my drops for the day and my next load out of town is at six o'clock this evening and i have to have a 10 hour break so i'm going to be camped here for a while i'll go over to main freight and um, they have a cafe that we're allowed to use but i just wanted to show you this truck this is my the guy named Andre owns this truck. Him and his dad have had it for 11 or 12 years or something. But this is just a stunning piece of kit. Look at this paint job, hang on. She's a cool truck. B train, which is what I'd like to drive, but. That's cool. Peter Baker and his Ivaco Stralis stopped to give me directions to a pie. <laughs> Truckies, eh? They're good value. Oh, nice star. Sweet. Well, as soon as I've got this time off, I'm having a look around Oda Hoot. Cool, I think I'm going to get something from that shop over there. I like it already. Yep, this definitely ain't tougher. Yeah, she's island time now. I just can't resist walking through this place. That's a bit of good looking concrete work. Very cool. Nice job. So here she is for the evening. Home sweet home. <sighs> right, let's close up and get some shadow. Life is good. Well, when I was in Otahu, I bought myself some lunch. When I woke up, which is now. And I have a rice cake, a teriyaki rice cake. Yeah, they're not too shabby. Very nice. Well, it's after four and they've just uh, changed my load. <coughs> I did have a six o'clock load out, but my dispatcher has just called me and asked me if I could get around to this other client now. So that's kind of cool. Saved me a couple of hours there. And it looks like during the course of the day, I think that's Nick, my friend Nick's truck. 
he's cruised in for a sleep. We still got um, Andre's B train over there. So I was. Uh, so it's all good. <laughs> Let's hit the road. I don't know about you, but all those lifting things, whatever you call them, look weird. Hey, there's old Crunch I used to drive that truck. <laughs> this metro stuff ain't too bad. The good thing about it is um, it certainly gets your skills up. No doubt about that whatsoever. And it teaches you all kinds of aspects of trucking that, you know, aren't really talked about very much. And that's, you know, things like patience and courtesy and all these good things that just help make us the best drivers on the road. Well, she's been a pretty good day actually, and I've really enjoyed it. The uh, drop this morning at the Engineers was a good mission. Main Freight had me in and out of there in no time. Very understanding and good bunch of people down there, very professional. And uh, my dispatcher has been, uh, I'm not very good with the old paperwork and you know remembering numbers and stuff is not very good for me. So my dispatcher has been understanding and worked with me and we've had a pretty good day actually. All in all, a great success. Now just uh, cut a track home for Taupo. Life is good. Well into Webbers, that was another successful day trucking. Just love driving in New Zealand. There's just such good people involved with the industry. Everyone from my dispatcher to the, you know, the loaders and other drivers. It's just a really good industry to be a part of. Truckers are a special breed, and the people that work in the industry all they all know that they all deal with. Yeah, they're just a, they're just a good bunch of people. I'm really looking forward to one day trucking in America and in Australia and wherever else I can drive. But I'm not really going to go anywhere until I have a clean bill of health because, um, you know, we just got to make sure that uh, all the right things happen. So it's going to be a good day. and Well, it has been a good day. I really appreciate that um, you folks take an interest and that you tag along. And I'm um, looking forward to sharing the next one with you. Have a, have a good one wherever you are, peeps. See ya.